What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If it is the first time you're touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk streetwear, and everything in between. Y'all really enjoyed the last video I did where I was answering fitted hat questions while unboxing my new fitted hats. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do again today, but I pulled some new questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer those while I'm unboxing my pickups from the Hat Club Aux Pack. Now I'm missing one hat from the Aux Pack. One of them is gonna be delivered like next week, but instead of making y'all wait, I'm just gonna open these up and then and I also have some pins I want to show y'all so make sure you watch the video all the way through so y'all can see the pins at the end. So question number one was what's the difference between hat club drops and hat club pre-orders? People clown the pre-orders. I've never really seen anyone clown the hat club pre-orders. I love pre-orders because pre-orders give you an opportunity to really sit and think about what hats you want to pick up out of a collection especially if the collection is big. I think you might be reading into maybe some jokes a little bit too much. That's what it's sounds like from what you wrote because I don't really see anybody clowning the hat club pre-orders to be honest um it comes down to the difference between you know getting your hat that day walking out of the store with it or ordering it online and having it shipped to you that week versus waiting three months for it obviously everyone would prefer having it that week or that day but the hats sell out so fast I mean getting a pre-order if that's the only way that you can get a hat then get the pre-order I don't really see the problem with that as far as differences between the hats themselves there are differences sometimes so like we just saw with the hat club sandstorm collection that atlanta braves all-star game patch is banned so for the pre-order they switched it up and that hat has a different patch but i feel like those situations are far and few between and it's not like they're hiding it from you you're gonna know if they switch something on a hat from when it released to when it went up for pre-order pre-orders are dope it means that more people have the chance to get the hats that they want and one thing that i really like about the hat community that i've noticed so far and everyone that i've interacted with it's been all positive it's been all love shown i haven't really seen you know much negativity so i think that you might just be reading a little bit too much into jokes like i said so let's go ahead and open up this first hat okay so we got the dodgers the doggy style dodgers this was actually one of my first choices. Like this was top of the list when it came to the aux pack. I told y'all, you know, it's a little nostalgic for me. People used to call me Snoop Dogg because of how I wore my hair. But yeah, so this one was a must cop. Really nice hat. You can see it's navy with the yellow and red Dodgers on the front. 100th anniversary side patch, right? Yep, 100th anniversary side patch on there. I don't have that side patch in my collection yet. So that's a nice one. Black and white flat batting man on the back. Kelly Green UV. I'm really trying to step up my Kelly Greens in the collection. I don't have a lot of Kelly Green UVs, I noticed. I have a lot of color UVs and I have some gray UVs. But when it comes to Kelly Green, I just don't have as much as the other two. So I'm definitely trying to step it up in that department white sweatband and someone reminded me i never updated y'all on how the the sweatband liners went i did try them out they worked okay i can't really complain about it it's basically just a sticker that you put on the inside that protects the sweatband but my sweatbands really don't get dirty because i try to clean them every time i wear the hat so it works but i just really didn't have much use for it if they're still in stock i'll link them down below in the video description for those of y'all who have that problem like i said when i did my rank in the aux pack video i thought all of the dodgers hats came out sick but this one was my personal favorite so i'm really glad that i was able to scoop this up and that's actually a good transition because one of y'all did ask a question about la in particular so i'm gonna read exactly what you said this way i don't jack it up it says do you know what hats are okay to wear in la i'm going with friends for two weeks and want to come back the same way I leave, planning on bringing six hats with me. Um, first off, enjoy your trip. Second, I do get what you're saying. I grew up in a time where I couldn't wear red or blue hats and I really couldn't wear solid red or blue things. So I definitely understand where you're coming from. But as far as what hats are okay to wear in LA, I don't really know. I would reach out to LA based hat collectors to tell you a little bit more about that. I'm not afraid to say when I don't know something. Sean Stay Fitted, I believe he's based in LA. Ronnie Fitted, who just made a YouTube channel, I believe he's also in LA. I would try to reach out to those guys. If they answer you, they, they might not, they might, I don't know. From what I've seen from their content, they both seem like cool dudes, so you might get an answer before your trip. Reach out to them and find out. Now I'm actually interested in what hats are okay to wear in LA because I've been to LA and 
and I wore whatever I wanted and it wasn't really an issue the whole time that I was out there. So I'm actually interested. Hopefully you get an answer. And also I know some of the people that watch me are from LA. So if you're watching this and you're from LA, down below in the comment section, help out a fellow hat collector. Let him know what hats he can and cannot wear in LA. Cause I think it might actually depend on where in LA you're going, what you're doing, and also just how you conduct yourself to be 100% honest. Um, but yeah, enjoy your trip, stay whole. start with this one Let's start with this one right here so this next hat i picked up is this phillies joint it's a black phillies hat you got the metallic phillies logo on the front it's like metallic threading it really pops out against the black you got a teal outline i really like that front logo it stands out i'm a big big meek mill fan that is like my get up and go music this and big sean i listen to it between takes while i'm filming i listen to it while i'm editing it's just that i don't know it's that grind music when you're grinding that's the type of music that you listen to 2008 world series side patch on this one same colors some teal some white and some black in there Black and white batting man, once again, flat batting man. Gray UV on this one. I like how the aux pack has so many green and gray UVs, keeping it wearable, keeping it clean, white sweatband. This is a really good looking hat. And that brings me to question number three, which was a really good question. How do you tell what's gonna look great in real life? Sometimes great hats look like duds online. You ain't never lied, that is the truth. Um, I used to think it was just Hat Club that didn't take the best product photos, but now that I'm shopping other places as well, I realize that no one has good pictures of their hats. The online photos really do suck. You have to look other places. That's why last video I recommended that y'all do follow the hat designers on Instagram. They post a lot better photos. You can really see the colors. You can see the patches. The photos just look a lot better. There's also the fact that when hat companies take product photos, they're doing it with the flat brim. Personally, because I wear my hats curved, I like to see the hat curved, but sometimes that's just not possible. So I just stick to what I can see, right? I can see the colors, I can see the front logo, I can see the side patch, hopefully, and I decide based off of that. If I really like the color, I know I'm still gonna like the color once it's curved up. I'll probably like it even better once the hat is curved. If I don't like the color of a hat, then I get to thinking like, okay, maybe I'll like it once it's curved. You can see a little bit of the UV color in there. You gotta think about those things. The front logo, does it grab my attention? Do I like it? Because that's not gonna change. That's not gonna change whether the hat is curved, you know, depending on the light and it might look a little different. But for the most part, the front logo is the front logo. And then you have the side patch. Do you like the side patch or not? I'm not a huge baseball fan, so that whole loser patch, winner patch thing, I don't really have to think about that, but if you're a baseball fan, maybe that makes a difference for you. So all of that goes into whether or not you're gonna like a hat online and in hand once you get it. Sometimes you also just gotta take a chance. I've missed out on a lot of hats because I did not like the product photo. For example, the Aux Pack, uh, the 50 Cent hat. Like I said, it was a good hat, and I think I gave it a five just based off of nostalgia, but the product photos for the hat just didn't sell me. Now that I've seen the hat like curved and on people's heads, now I want the hat. So like I mentioned, I do have one more aux pad pickup on the way, but this is gonna be the last one for this video and then I'm gonna get into the pins. And it's this Detroit Tigers hat right here. This was a must cop. The colors go crazy and y'all know I like colors. There's like four different colors just on the front logo. You have three different blues in there, the hot pink. I've never seen colors like that used on this front logo. 2005 All-Star Game patch with the same colors, that hot pink and that teal blue. It just really pops against the black. It translated really well from the I Decided album cover to the hat. Tone Nuera logo with the hot pink or neon pink UV. I'm not really sure, but it's bright, it's bright white sweatband everyone's entitled to their opinions but if you ask me this was best out of the pack so these are my aux pack pickups when that last one comes in i'll make sure y'all see it in the next unboxing they all came with the round hat club goldish pin honestly this is one of the best collections that i've seen from hat club so far i think all of the hats were fire y'all can tell by the ranking video that i did they got a lot of fives but it is what it is i think i definitely might go back and scoop up a few that i feel like i missed out on but i don't know we'll see how the rest of the year shakes out i don't want to reach back just yet because there's always another drop coming up i do want to show y'all those other pins that i've been picking up so let's go ahead and get into that real quick i have a few pins that i've been picking up the last couple of weeks from different places three of them are from the same place so I'm gonna go ahead and start with those first. They're from Differently Uptown. All three of the pins I'm about to show you are from Differently Uptown. I'll put his information in the video description. 
This one is a Yankees logo made out of sunflowers. Yeah, I might have saw the shirt on my Instagram and I think I wore the shirt in a video too. Very dope, I like it, the creativity behind it. Differently Uptown. Then I bought this other one. You can see it says Differently Uptown on the backing card. Presentation is key, don't forget presentation. Then you have a woman in a fitted cap with the puff puff and the door knockers, the bamboo earrings. This is dope, just showing love to all the women who wear fitted caps out here. Very, very cool. And this next one, the next one that I'm gonna show y'all, this is, I've never seen anything like this one. So I passed this on the website the first time around when I ordered the other two that I showed you because I didn't know that it was a pin. I thought it was just the lace dubrays, but it's actually this bamboo earring that says differently. This is hard. I've never seen anyone do something like this. There's a lot of people making pins right now, but this is fire. I had to scoop this one up. It says differently. It's like a little bamboo earring. This next one is from Evil Brims. And it's a monkey wearing a fitted cap. Hopefully that focuses so y'all can see it, but it's a monkey in a fitted cap. And the fitted has like the upside down New York. Y'all know I love those hats. I still do. I wear them. It says evil on the backing card with the can't see, can't speak, and can't hear monkeys. This is a cool pen, it's fun. Evil brims. So the next one I picked up, I got from eBay and the seller was a complete douche, but I still bought the pen. It's a Nike pen, probably from Air Max Day. You can see it says air and green, red, and yellow. It's a nice pen. These next two are the same. They're from headquarters NYC. I picked up one for myself and one for a friend because it's kind of like a little inside joke, but it's the only fans logo except it says only scams i don't know i just thought it was hilarious and it became an inside joke so i picked up two of the pins now i have one and my friend has one so the last pin that i picked up this one is also from ebay it looks just like the 1994 all-star game patch and i'm gonna put it on some of my pirates hats so that's why i picked this one up if you enjoyed today's video remember to like comment subscribe show a small youtuber some love and i'll check y'all out on the next one